Yes! One hell of an evening. Let's talk Project One. Welcome as well to my humble quarters during my time at the Frankfurt Auto Show. Rather splendid. As I'm sure you've guessed, I am a guest of Mercedes during the motor show. And it is exactly the brand to be with at this time because, well, as you've seen, they are launching some pioneering stuff. This Project One. We know it's been coming, we've seen some teaser pictures. Nothing truly prepared me for it when it came out. The interesting thing about the Project One is it really genuinely and truly is Formula One technology for the road. And what I mean by that is it is powered by the 1.6 litre turbo that is currently in the current generation Formula One cars from Mercedes-Benz. Need I remind you? that from 2014 to 2017, they are crushing it, they're killing the game. Those power plants have got so much power, but of course it's also a hybrid. I mean, this thing is so terrific. Things that you couldn't see tonight because it's the first time we've seen it in its body shell arm. We've seen the exposed chassis a few months ago. The linkages are directly mounted to the transmission box. There's no subframe. It's pure thoroughbred race tech. And there's also push rod suspension, front and rear. That looks really trick. It's like thick. It's very much a, a case of form follows function and there's no unnecessary components on it. Everything's there for a reason. It looks like it works so well. There's also another electric motor, 120 kilowatt electric motor, which is attached directly to the crankshaft. And then further to that, the front two driven wheels have their own independent electric motors, which are also 120 kilowatts each. The entire power output is over a thousand horsepower. We haven't had the official performance figures quoted tonight, but apparently they're going to be released tomorrow. Yeah, that basically means it's an all wheel drive hypercar powered by a world championship winning Formula One engine. Mercedes just dropped the mic. It's ridiculous. That's really fascinating landscape because the current hypercar territory, contrary to what we believed a few years ago, has just gone mad. We've got Aston Martin with the Valkyrie, obviously Mercedes with the Project One. I know that Ferrari, Porsche and McLaren are all working on new hypercars. It's crazy. I, I never expected this caliber of cars to be produced in this day and age where on the one spectrum, you've got brands like Mercedes talking about self-driving, fully automated, fully electric smart cars. And then five minutes later, they wheel out this insane full carbon bodied Formula One tech crazy hybrid race car. It's, it's amazing. They are keeping this balance. They are planning for the future, but you know, pleasing the enthusiasts and the passion that ultimately inspires all of us that love cars. And I think while driving is a necessity, it's really interesting to see that there's still this massive demand for the ultra premium super hyper stuff, which is really good for all of us because eventually that tech will filter down into the more accessible cars. So the future's bright. I'm really excited for it. Now, a little bit of engine stats. While it's pushing out a combined power of over a thousand horsepower with all of the electric motors, the engine still revs to over 11,000 RPM. That's madness. To put that into context, the 812 Superfast, which I drove lately, which I believe to be a very high revving, naturally aspirated V12, caps out at just under 9,000 RPM. This goes to 11. And that's actually detuned. The F1 engine revs to 13. Uh, the reason they've done that is to ensure the longevity of the engine or something that is revving that high and so highly stressed would otherwise require an engine rebuild quite early on. But yeah, to have a road car that is gonna rev to 11? 11. But I mean, it really is like literally next level craziness. The car was driven onto the stage by Lewis Hamilton, no less. Uh, he stepped out of the car. I mean, he gave it some revs when, it, when he arrived on stage and it sounded absolutely Amazing. You would never in a million years believe it was a 1.6 litre V6. It sounds like a thoroughbred race engine, but from a V12. It's a phenomenal thing. And of course, with that phenomenal performance, phenomenal power, phenomenal design comes a phenomenal price, which is estimated to be at around about 2.4 million pounds, sir. There's only 275 made. I believe there's 20 coming to the UK. Congratulations anyone who's got one of those. I do believe they're all sold out. Naturally, when you're in that bracket, it's a completely different world. So yeah, um, I took the opportunity to do a voiceover for this because as soon as they unveiled the car, everyone crowded around it. Uh, it got very loud, very crazy, and then a band started playing. I didn't feel like I could really convey the information that I wanted to to you guys. Getting to work well now with Mercedes, so who knows what we'll see in future, but I've got a funny feeling I'm gonna see more of this car soon. Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!